Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to try install the crack version of King of Fighters 15 on the Steam Deck. And if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of stuff, crack games, emulation, gaming handheld, Steam Deck, stuff like that, that's all we talk about. So consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so once you've downloaded the game onto your Steam Deck, open up Lutris. Press the plus button on the top left corner and then install a Windows game from an executable. Type in the name of the game. I'm going to install on the default uh, home deck games and then select your executable file. I put it in downloads Warpinator King of Fighters 15 and then the setup exe. And then it's going to create the prefix directories. So wait for that. Okay, so it's getting ready to the setup. The setup file is ready. Now press OK. And then I'm going to turn off the music. Next. And then double check that the file is correct, the version and everything. Next. I'm not going to create those desktop shortcuts. And I'm going to put it on my C drive. So that's the uh, SSD on my Steam Deck. So I'm going to change the path to C drive and then games and the King of Fighters directory. And I'm going to select all those dependencies, the DirectX and the .NET 3.5. And now it's downloading those dependencies. And then it's going to install. And it's going to take a while. So I'm going to fast forward this part. And I'll see you once it's finished installing. Okay, so the game has finished installing and the MD5 check done. Now it's installing the dependencies. And DirectX will install, so that's okay. So just let it be. And then it's installing Visual C. All right, done. Uh, this is the x64 version of it. Also done. And then we're installing the .NET framework. Done. And we're done. So we can just close it. And then we're going to try to launch the game. Okay, so we need to go configure it. So we go into the executable. We're going to browse for a new executable file. And it should be in the King of Fighters directory and inside there's a directory called KOFXV and then inside that there's a binary and then Win64 and then we need to choose the KOFXV Win64 shipping.exe. That's the file we want to execute. And then in the runner options, we're going to choose Proton Experimental. And once that's done, uh, we can try play the game. All right. So we can load into the game now. So I guess we need to check if it works on the game mode. All right. So I'm going to quit out of this.
and then uh, I'm going to create the Steam shortcut. So right click and then create Steam shortcut. And then we can go to game mode. So I'll see you in game mode. Okay, so in game mode, we go to our library, non Steam games, and then we find KOF 15. And what's the first thing we're going to do? We're going to change the artwork. Okay. I'm going to type King of Fighters to see if we can find the artwork. We got King of Fighters 14, but there's no King of Fighters 15. So I guess we'll have to leave it for now. So let's try to run the game. See if it works on game mode. If it does, then we're good. All right, so there you have it. Yep, and the controller is working too, so everything looks fine. Let's try to go into a match. There, there's no online. We can't play online. So let's just play single player versus. Player versus computer. All right, I'm going to select my team. Harry Bogard, one of my favorite characters. Mai, of course, Mai. And Irori. All right, I'm going to random the computer. All right, let's play one round and see how it, how it performs. I don't have a keyboard connected, so I'm not very good at playing fighting games with the joypad. The graphics are so good now. I used to. I, I haven't played King of Fighters for a long time. I think my last one was King of Fighters 2002. Yeah, it's alright. Just very hard to control with the joypad. Let me know if you like this game. All right, light punch. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later.